the next ones. These ones look really kind of funky. <laughs> it's telling me that I'm going to combine two functions and I want to find the domain and the range. Now what happens is you're going to start at the very beginning and you're going to try to follow it to the end. If you can go from the very beginning to the end, the beginning number is included in your range or in your domain, your end number is included in your range. So I'm going to start and I'm going to try to follow my arrows. The three goes to what number? Nine. Three goes to nine. Is there a nine over in the next set? Yes. The nine then goes to? Eight. eight. So when you started at three, you ended up at eight. So in my list for my domain, I'm going to have a three. In my list for my range, I'm going to have an eight. Okay, then we're going to try the four. Now if I start at four, four goes to? Seven. Okay. Then we hop over here. There is a seven. Seven goes to? Seven goes to eight. So when we add the four, we ended up at eight. So four goes in our domain. The eight's already in our range. We don't need to add that in. Okay. Okay, so now we go to the five. The five goes to? Six. Six. And the six goes to? Eight. Eight. <coughs> so when we started with the five, we ended up at an eight. So we're going to add five to our domain, but we already have the eight in our range. Okay, now if we do the seven. <coughs> seven goes to? Five. Five. There's no five over here, right? Oh, so yeah. we're stuck. That means we're going to get rid of that one. That one doesn't work. I can't get from one end to the other. We're done with that one. So now we're going to go to the eight. Eight goes to? One. One. There's no one over here. We're going to get rid of that one. So then we go to the 9. The 9 goes to 1. There's no 1 over there. We're done with our list. So the ones in our domain that worked were the 3, 4, and the 5. The ones in our range, well, we only had the 8. <laughs> that worked. So these are the only ones we could possibly have in our domain. These are the only ones we could possibly have in our range, but we're not always going to use them all. Okay, let's go to number 11 then. Number 11. Whoops, I'm trying to go to 12. So number 11, finding our domain and our range. What are we going to do? We've got a zero. Zero goes to? Two. Two and? So two goes to four, so we got a two. So zero went to two, two went to four. So that means... The beginning and end numbers are going to be in our domain or our range. Okay. What number should we add for our domain? Four. For our domain? Oh, zero. Zero. And which one's in our range? Four. Four. There we go. So now we're going to do the next number. We've got three goes to four. Three goes to four. So we got a three. <laughs> Don't we? Three went to four. Three went to four. But no four. there are no four, so we're stuck. We can't do that one, right? Okay. Okay, so next number. Four goes to five. Four goes to five. We got a five. Five goes to? Five goes to nine. So we're going to add what number in our domain? Four. And what number in our range? Nine. Yep. Okay, so now we're going to try the five. We got five to three. Five to three. And we got a three. Three goes to? Nine. Nine. So we're going to add? Domain is the three. Domain is the what? Oh, five. Five. Domain is the five. And then the range is nine, but we already have a nine. Yep. So now we're going to do? Nine. Nine. Nine goes to four. Nine goes to four. And no four. And there's no four, so we're done. So in our domain, we have the zero, the four, and the five. The zero and four and five all worked. In our range, four and the nine are the two end values we got. Alright, number 12. Whoop, went too far. Number 12. There we go. Number 12. Finding our domain and our range. Making sure we put the set symbols around our answers because it says put it in set notation. <laughs> so, starting with the 1. Go to 1, goes to the 0. 
and we don't have a, don't have a zero, so we'll get rid of the one, right? So then we have three goes to eight. So we have an eight goes to four. Okay. So three went in our domain, four went in our range, right? Okay. Then we got a four goes to zero. We got a Four went to zero, and we don't have a zero, so we cross it off, right? Okay. Okay, so we got a six goes to eight, and we got an eight goes to four. So we got six is the domain, and four is the range, and we already got a four. Mm -hmm. Then we got an eight goes to three, and three goes to four, so we got the domain is eight. And we already got a four. Okay. And then nine goes to zero, and we don't have a zero. So our domain, three, six, and eight, range, four. Yeah. <laughs> All right.